Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Nola Nerds uh, 2012 Summer Movie Preview Breakdown. Is that a fair thing to call it? I think it's the fairest of all things to call it. I'm Chris. I'm Matt. We are the Nola Nerds. Yeah, that's close enough. I'll yeah. take it. Um, rabble, rabble, rabble. Rabble, rabble, rabble. This is basically where uh, the two of us are just going to break down the movies we're most excited about seeing this summer. Yep. Um, we're bound to miss a few. We're kind of spitballing it here. I, I don't know if you know this yet, but the Nola Nerd way of doing things is essentially not that. It's essentially we just spitball it and kind of go by ear, and we don't even know how to edit even if we wanted to. So it's kind of just one dry run, and we go from there. Yeah, I mean, you seem to like it. That's right. You. You. I know you do. The audience. The mystical audience that I'm you, sure is out there one day. You better like it. If not, I will end you in a fire. Um, this episode or slash video is sponsored by your local cinema. Go visit them. Go see S movies there. Send, spend money there. Yeah. Buy a hot dog. Buy two. You like Fat. their hot dogs, don't you? Their hot dogs are good. I love hot dogs. Buy their pretzel M&Ms. Shit's bananas. Shit's gross. Don't oh. buy a pretzel M&M. Buy a pretzel. Also, get one of their little card things that gets you points with everything you buy because you get a lot of free money that way if you watch as many movies as we do. Yeah, I mean... That's pretty much all the qualifications we really have. Saves money. We watch a lot of movies. Because I love movies. I love going to the cinema. He, he's like the, the technical trivia person. You want to know who was in what movie when yeah. with who yeah. or whom? I can. He can. It's kind of... It's pretty great. Ridiculous. If you want to know... Whether or not a movie's good, in the sense of entertainment, that's where I come in. If you want to know about some 1920s black and white boar fest... W.C. Fields? This guy is yeah. your guy. But anyway, let's move on. Let's. Let's talk about the summer. Summer is the the season of movies. This is when all the great movies. stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's, let's if, if you're in a war horse, then what the fuck are you doing here? Don't watch our show. We, we, don't, we don't like We are not for you. We, yeah, we're not. <laughs> but having said that, we love the summer movies. The summer blockbusters are the best. I mean, people like to hate on them because they're not quote unquote good movies, but. Yeah, whatever. You know, for, for most bang for our buck, these are the ones that, uh, that are the mo most fun to talk about, the most fun to watch. They're the most interesting to us. Then again, my favorite is Crippled Masters. So, we'll talk about that later. No, we won't. Yep. No, we're not. I'm going to do it when you're not here. Okay. Well, let's see. Summer essentially starts now, doesn't it? It does. It starts tonight with Avengers. Tonight is Avengers. The four-year experiment in the making. The world's about to break. <laughs> I miss that so much. Yeah. Not this. This is the phenomenal cartoon based on the Avengers. The Crypt the Superhero, Which, Avengers. For some reason, Disney hates money in America, and I had to go to Canada to buy it. Thank God for the internet. Thanks, Canada. There we go. That is neither here nor there. There. No, we, we, Joss Whedon directs what is. Uh, I, I have. There are certain movies where I'll impose a media blackout on myself because I want to go in fresh, knowing as much as I, as little as I can, so I am just enjoying the movie without spoilers. This is one of them. I normally don't care about spoilers. Uh, it's more about the movie itself than the ending. I have not seen anything for this movie because I am super stoked. You, you you have Joss Whedon who is a nerd fan favorite uh, and pair that with what is essentially the first true in movie <laughs> The movie gets cancelled halfway through. <laughs> no, no. This isn't done by Fox. <laughs> it doesn't this matter. Disney. It's called the Joss Whedon Clause. Yeah. You'll, enjoy, you'll enjoy the first hour and a half of Avengers and then it gets cancelled. <laughs> and then you have to buy it on DVD later. I guarantee you. If, how funny would it be if the movie like stopped? The, the, it broke or something halfway the theater shut down. <laughs> I would lose my mind. That would be oh. awful. Oh, so, okay. But it's basically four years of the first true movie in continuity. Yeah. Like, just every crossover, everyone bleeding into everyone else's movies. The movie that no one thought could be done. Exactly. And uh, from all word, every possible Every account, person whose opinion that actually matters to me says it's fantastic. Uh we are all, always sponsored by BSI Comics and Metairie. Jason uh, got to see a sneak preview press release of it, and he said, without hyperbole, best comic book movie ever. Yeah. Um, 
it's it's averaging a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes right now, which for 97. a uh, comic book movie that's not called Dark Knight is patently unheard of. Pretty much. Uh, they say it's just pure fun. It's got great comedy, great heart, and great it. action. Uh, so cannot wait. We are yeah. mere six, five and a half hours away. Yeah, but we're gonna go get in line now. So yeah. So, but let's talk about the other big two. I mean, there, there's three major movies. The, the three major, major is, comic book movies. Is, yes, Avengers is clearly the big Marvel. You mean Battleship. Uh, yeah, let's talk about Battleship, also known as the Rihanna vehicle. Oh, how about Dark Shadows? Can we talk about Dark Shadows? We can't talk about Dark Shadows. Oh. We are going to go see Battleship, though, for it's the Liam Neeson clause. Nobody talks about Dark Shadows. Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson gets a free pass for everything. anything. Uh, ever literally, since Taken. Yeah, literally Honestly, anything he does. Taken is one of my favorite all-time pure, just straight action movies, and Liam Neeson pure, proved that he can carry it. So we'll despite, go see it. Despite my issues with the gray, Liam Neeson still has a pass. Um... We also have a roommate who just cannot get over his obsession with Rihanna, and he's dragging us to it, but we're happily going for Liam Neeson. Yep. Well, begrudgingly going. Begrudgingly, yeah. Because, good luck. It, the, the novelization has the tag, like, you sunk the wrong battleship. So... Uh, here's the thing. Battleship is Michael Bay, is a Michael Bay movie without Michael Bay attached to it. Or Transformers. Right. It's basically, I don't know why Hasbro hates America and American interests. <laughs> it's destruction porn. Isn't that the term they create? That is the for term that? for it. Yeah. yeah, but it's going to be like Saw. It's going to burn out in a couple of years. I hope so. Because you, you can only watch Los Angeles be blown up so many times. I disagree. I, yeah. I can always I was kinda, watch a bill of the city being destroyed. I was kind of over it after Battle for Los Angeles. Really? I'm, I'm a little tired of destruction porn. I like it still. Yeah. but I have a higher tolerance for awesome things than you do? No. Anyway. The, 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 the second biggest movie of the summer is Hands Down Dark Knight Rises. Yes. I mean, the tra the new trailer has just been released. We haven't seen it. We're waiting for tonight to watch it. and Because I figure if I'm going to watch this new trailer, it might as well be on the big screen IMAX theater. The way it's meant. Apparently this trailer is spoilerific and stuff. Well, here's the thing. It's Chris. It, it's Nolan. It might shed a lot of light on plot. Yeah. But it's never going to tell you everything. No. You're never... The it, Dark, it, Knight, still might the Dark Knight trailer showed a whole bunch of stuff. And people were like, oh, I, got a big, I got the gist of the movie. And then, nope. it, bam, it, it fucking hits you upside the head all over the place. Yeah. So, there's few... Nolan is not going to tip his hand in a trailer. No. It's just not going to happen. However, this movie had a lot of criticism against it. And I think it's just because Dark Knight was so good. People loved to tear I mean, the, down the things the they bar is, The bar is too high. And it, I mean, unless Dark Knight is a perfect 10 but, across the board. But here's the thing. The trailer came out, and the mentality switched 180. People only had good things to say about it. Yeah. Uh, apparently, you can understand Bane now. That's always a That's plus. A plus you can understand your uh, villain. And comprehensible. So, Dark Knight Rises yeah, is going to be the other biggest movie of the summer even, even even without the quantifier of comic book movie yeah. dark knight is going to be the second biggest anticipated movie after avengers it might even be bigger after it's all said and done yeah. so the x-men first class award goes to event to amazing spider-man yes the reboot that we don't know why we need it but still looks entertaining yeah i mean yeah i'm i'm over toby Maguire and all his bullshit and i don't like old ass aunt may and i I'm kind of tired of Kristen Dunst. But you throw in... So is the world, because we haven't seen her since. Well, I think we killed her. <laughs> uh, but you throw in you throw in um, Emma Stone and... And this, Gwen Stacy, the way it should have been. And this, fucking, this new fucking kid, Andrew, uh, Garfield. Andrew Garfield, who's going to play him, who looks pretty good. But here's the thing. Here, it, it captures more the essence of Spider-Man than I thought the other ones did, because even from the trailer, you get the feeling that he's a quip-happy... Like, snarky son of a bitch. Yeah. Because that's what Spider-Man always was. He just would not stop talking in fights, and it just annoyed everybody to no end, but that was what he did. Yeah. And now everyone's everyone's talking about, you know, he's making his own web shooters, and, you know... They're I, playing I, up the scientist thing. I was, I, was never, I was never, like, against organic web shooters. Well, no, I it think it's sense. more just... They're playing up the science angle. Yeah. And a lot of people kept going, well, why do we need another Spider-Man movie? Because this one's because actually... the third one was awful. Well, then, this, this at least this origin story is telling different things. Yeah. We're getting the, the actual true start of Spider-Man with Gwen Stacy. We're learning more about his family, which was... Uh, 
which has never been really delved into in the other movies. No. We're getting a, and it's not like they're rehashing the villains. We're not seeing Green Goblin here. We're no, we're getting, getting the a, lizard. We're getting the lizard, which will also play into the science aspect of it. Yeah. Uh, so this that's another that's one. Those are the three big superhero movies. Yeah. What else do we have this summer? Uh, I'm kind of interested in Ted, which is Seth MacFarlane's first live movie. action movie. Uh, if you saw the trailer, you can definitely hear it. Yeah, I mean, it's... Like, like the dialogue is super Seth MacFarlane. Super, I mean, if you've watched anything he's ever done, this is basically, you know, more of the same. Yeah. Um, it's like Greg the Bunny, but if it was made into a movie with Seth MacFarlane poop jokes. Yeah. Um, so... There's Ted for me. Um, G.I. Joe Retaliation. Yes. Fucking... Can, we, can we talk about a movie that completely 180'd in terms of quality? Okay, the first it's... G.I. Joe is not an awful movie. It's average. It really pisses me off because of what it did to Baroness. But aside from that, it was fine. This G.I. Joe... Cobra Commander was kind of weak sauce. Cobra Commander was kind of weak sauce. But in this one, they've taken a complete 180. Cobra runs the White House. Oh, co I mean, just everything about... Most complaints people had about the first one seem to be rectified. We've got true action hero status. you got The Rock and you've got Bruce Willis. And you have Adrian Padalecki. Was that her name? Uh, the chick sure. that played Wonder Woman in the, in the teaser. Yeah. I mean, in the, trail, in the pilot, in the if pilot. you saw it. Uh, you also have, uh, they removed the weird fucking molded lips from Snake Guy's mask. He fights dudes on a mount. Of course. On I the mean, side of a mount. While, while rappelling down Go said mount. I mean, it, that's going to be the most incredible, mind-numbing action movie of the year, I think, of yeah. the summer. I mean, if you want to just turn your brain off and enjoy explosions and, uh, and just a pencil-thin plot while... Masturbate into your '80s toy and cartoon, you know, memories. I mean, GI Joe is where to go. Retaliation, pretty much. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, I mean, Dark Shadows comes out, but fuck Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows. I I have no strong opinions about it because I never saw the show. I didn't even know it was based on a show until you here's, told me. Here's the thing. So, here's the thing about Dark Shadows. My sister is a huge Dark Shadows fan, so she's given me the whole business about this. Okay. My issue is. It's another Tim Burton, Johnny Depp, Helena Bonham Carter. Um, it's true. Those three really need and, to stop no, talking. No, who does the music? Ja Danny Elfman. Yeah. Snow White and the Huntsman. I was originally... We're kind of running low on time now, we're so gonna we're going to start quick. doing micros. Snow White and the Huntsman looks fucking badass, despite Kristen Stewart. It's shocking. With two Snow White movies coming out this year, Mirror Mirror being the comedy-looking one, Snow White and the Huntsman is... A sh we saw the trailer, and we did not expect that level of like looks, awesome looking. It looks super bad. It really does. Considering Chris uh, Twilight wouldn't know personality ladies, the leading lady, yeah. it looks really interesting. Well, she's not the fairest of them all. No, not yet. Not ever. Not in my lifetime. Ever. Not in my lifetime. But it, it, the trailer sold us on the movie. Yeah, it, we, I totally it, 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 became, it went from non-entity to must-see. Yeah. For us. Pretty much. I mean, if... if uh, and then one of the other biggest movies of the summer is, of course, going to be Prometheus. Yeah, I it's it's a, it's a the, prequel. The, I swear it's not a prequel to Aliens, but I'm going to totally make a it a to prequel aliens. to Aliens. I don't know why he can't just come out and say it. I, but, don't, I don't care. Uh, it's not on my list. Brave is on my list. Oh, yeah. Brave is the new Pixar movie about a Scottish princess. Looks fucking awesome. It it it'll, it'll it'll looks stick up after Cars too. That's what I was about. It's gonna wipe the bad taste that Cars two left in your mouth. And you know why? why? There's no Larry the Cable Guy. Fuck him for no reason. Yeah. Uh, no, Brave looks incredible. It it, it almost it, it it takes a tried and true like story element where. The, the girl wants to prove to her archaic parents yeah, that, that she's a she woman and be, she can do stuff. Right. She doesn't have to be a princess. She can be a warrior. Yeah. You know, we've seen it before, but now we're going to get the Pixar charm to it. This is also one of the first times we've gotten a pure human movie from Pixar since The Incredibles. True. Which already makes me happy because Incredibles is one of their finest movies ever. Yes. The final one we're going to talk about, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Oh, no one wants to talk about that. Yeah, everyone wants to talk about it. That's going to be so hype. Oh, yes. here's the thing. It, it's this year's Snakes on a Plane. Uh, I think it looks better than Snakes on a Plane looked. It's kind of hard not to, but I mean, it's the same ridiculous concept. That's the only reason people are interested in the movie. Because and the, the concept, trailers look great. The concept's stupid as hell. So the trailer makes looks into great. It. But you know it's not going to be a good movie. It's a movie you go see ironically. No, I don't think so. I think people are going to be legit. I think you're going to be legitimately surprised. All right, that's fair enough. We are now low on time, so thank you for joining our summer 2012 movie preview. We'll have Listen reviews up every talk. Friday. Every movie will have a review. Um, Except for Dark said, Shadows, because fuck Dark Shadows. I'm Matt. 
I'm Chris. And we're the nerds. Thank you for listening. Stop throwing up the horns. <laughs> <laughs>